perfectly weighted pass for Luis Araujo. Another big switch for Caleb Wiley, and the fans love what they're seeing from Atlanta United. Yakumakis! On his first start for his new club, Atlanta United, Yakumakis buries it. Welcome to Major League Soccer. Broadcast analyst Bradley Wright Phillips, 20 goals at the end. From distance, and the goalkeeper's spilled it, and the rebound smashed home. Yakimakis first to react. But you'd have to say that's going to go down as a goalkeeper error from Coronel. Vicious hit from Almada. On a game night, on a moment like this, welcome to the bands. And, of course, it is Thiago Almada who's involved in the play. The build-up to this play was actually well-designed and good patience shown by Atlanta United. But Carlos Coronel, he's actually been really good for New York Red Bulls in goal. That's going to go down as a blunder. He's got to do a lot better with that save, whether it's keeping the ball or pushing it wide. But give full credit to Jakob Makis. I mean, he's alert. He responds. He reacts quickest. Atlanta corner. Near post. Magno with the touch. And it stays in for Almada. On that right foot. Back punched and headed in. Jakob Makis. Ten men strike first. It's Almada takes the initial corner, comes back to him. It doesn't go out of play, which players thought it would. As that ball comes in, Yakumakis, he's just putting himself right on that back stick. As Almada picks his head up. What a delightful ball this is. The perfect height. There's a slight little push on Chano to create that distance. There's a cross to take this one. And the right, the six. The header, targeting in. Oh, it's a super delivery. And Jorgis Jakimakis, he cannot stop scoring! Much joy, and it comes off a set piece. We talk about Derek Etienne earning that corner kick, but the delivery, it's a teasing ball here, but Jakimakis has a lot to do with it. But he does so well to get a glancing header to that far post. has just enough power, enough accuracy as well to continue his goal scoring straight now. That's four on each of the last two games they've played. Those were on the road. Almada, long down the right side. Opportunity for Atlanta. This ball sent in. Here's Jakobakis, and it's 1-0 Atlanta United. He's done it again. Goals in five consecutive starts. And one of the hottest players in the league has Mercedes-Benz Stadium alive. Well, we spoke about how important it was that the width came from the fullbacks. It's a wonderful ball from Almada. And then it's a bad mistake from Shiho. He just lets it go past him, but take nothing away from the attack from Atlanta. And I just wonder then, did the ball go out of play? Because I'm sure that's one of the things that they will be looking at, but take nothing away from Yakumakis. It's a wonderful finish. He's in the right place at the right time. And he is such a goal poacher. Just a little bit too much handle to handle tonight. And here's a long ball, chested by Yakimakis, chips it over Yarbrough for a fourth! Some fresh legs, and you bring on a player like Yakimakis. How about the ball over the top? Just beating the back line for Colorado Rapids. A great run by Yakimakis. He brings it down to the first touch. Sees that the keeper's coming off his line. Right there, perfect chest ball. A little short hop. Flicks it over the top just to make sure it goes in. Gets on the end of it. Fouls it all the way in. Yabro has nothing to do with it on that one. Yakimakis with another great goal, but a great run and a nice ball in over the top for Atlanta United. Just outstanding by Brooks Lennon. Legion, Etienne, now wide, Hernandez with room, serves it up, back post, header down, gets through, and Yakumakis is there. Yorgos Yakumakis with the equalizer, tied at two at Chicago. It's Suke right there, he's communicating, he's trying to pass off players, but also Yorgos Yakumakis is right on the edge of the six, Gutman just enough with the header. And I think it's Shihos. Watch him slide back in. He's trying to get in position. Is Yakamakis offside, but he doesn't get the ball. It comes back to Gutman, but he's in an offside position on the first ball in. Gutierrez and Shabilko and Shakiri oftentimes seem like they're checking into the same pocket of space. Amada. Yakamakis goalie out, gets free, fires, and scores. 
But the flag coming up offside on Yakamakis in Atlanta. The timing, terrific. And he's going to go to the monitor and take a look. And I raised my arm in the booth right away because I thought in real time, yep. to your point, that it was offside. It's a lot closer on the replay. If it stands, would be the second for Yorkos Yakamakis. It's coming on to begin the second half. You're seeing what they're seeing. Referee Rosena Mendoza. Don Lennon can cross the ball from 30 yards out there. We're set to, this is Lennon. Gutman leaving it. Almada! Shot was blocked. Gutman tried to follow up. Jakob oh, They finally break through! At the right time, but also having the ingenuity to score goals in a variety of ways. Look at how many bodies are in front of Petrovic. Deflections, ball played in behind, but that little touch, that little understanding knowing the goalkeeper's coming off his line, he sees the ball. How quickly can I turn and redirect this? No goalkeeper in the world's making that save because the nuance and the ingenuity from Yako Makis is at a next level. His seventh start for Atlanta United. They don't bring the same strength to the game. Robinson with a long ball there. It's Tyler Miller with a typical defensive action outside and a shot by Yako Makis finds the back of the net. Oh, for Tyler Miller, it's risk and reward, and that time the risk results in Atlanta scoring the opening goal. We've seen Atlanta go a little bit longer. You see the back five there, it's a high line. They're putting so much on Miller to come out and to defend his line. But take nothing away from Yakamakis. He sees Miller coming out of the corner of his eye. This little touch here takes it away and then he puts it into the back of the net. And that's an outstanding finish from such an acute angle. He's got DC defenders running back to goal and it has to be perfection. And it is exactly that. So we know the way man that- Man to man, so. There will be uh, another occasion where Atlanta player could maybe make a run off of one. White foot delivery swings oh! out and it's in! Atlanta United off a great delivery by Brooks Lennon and they have scored the opener. It's Yakumakis. Yorgos Yakumakis hasn't been involved much in the first 10 minutes, but now he's involved. He the delivery is excellent, but look at this for the leap and the power. Look how he generates it from his hips to his shoulders and then powers that into the back of that. Stefan Fry just takes a little step to the right. Just watch here, just to the right, and then he can't get his body across to that left-hand side. Purely... Far post is on if they can see it. And it's Yakumakis making a run, and he heads it down off the ball from Almada, and Yakumakis has another one goal in Lanza United. Like they get two against one, and Nua doesn't get close. He doesn't come over, clearly onside. And it's a wonderful header yet again, heading it down. Textbook header, heads it down. Fry's got no chance. The skip off the surface, the ball is delightful. And what a header. The first one was good, but wonderful technique. Just float it up and say, put that away, big man. Don't disappoint me. There you go, 2 0. Can he have a moment of magic? Can he create something? Yakumakis, Lennon, Almada, Yakumakis! Goal! Thirteen and counting. He's unstoppable in the air. Ibiaga backtracking, just trying to put a body on him, and Yakumakis lets him fly by. Almada hangs it up, says, "Go and get it." And for the thirteenth time, joint top scorer, Stone Cold. Killer in the box. He is quite the player. Composed into Almada. Almada coming forward with Yakomakis and Lobjanice. Lobjanice! Yakomakis! Losing defenders, but now the composure here to play Almada. Now the question will be, when Loba Janice plays this ball across, is Yako Makis in an offside position? That is extremely tight. Loba Janice with the right ball at the right pace for Yako Makis to get on the end of it. 
That is extremely tight. Is it clear and obvious that he's in an offside position will be what VAR needs to look at. But that is one of the easiest of the 14 goals that Atlanta United and Jakub Makis has scored this year. Halving the deficit and giving us a second half, Ross, which is really well set up now. Really is. And Montreal finding their way back. Oh, there's a mistake. Jakub Makis, he can make it free. He does. It's a gift. That Silva doesn't get a touch, so it's looking more like a pass back from Kogo into the path of Yakumakis. And with that being a pass back from Corbeau, the last touch from Corbeau. Yeah, Silva doesn't touch it. So it's Nolan Void that Yakumakis is in an offside position. And he takes his finish so well, just scooping it. Played two 90-minute matches for Peru in World Cup qualifying. Find Thiago Almada now. Almada to Sabalov Janice. In on goal. Cuts it back for Yakumakis. Atlanta United lead in Cincinnati. Talk about a brilliant team goal. Splitting the two holding mids for Cincinnati right there. Bobado out of position. And Almada finds that little pocket of space. And what a run by Lodonice. Saba just finds himself on the wrong side of Barrial. And then unselfishly plays it across to find Yakamakis, who's completely unmarked by Mosquera. Just not a lot of things that went right for FC Cincinnati on that one. And that is well done by Atlanta United. Set to Almada. Wobra with the press so effective in midfield for Cincinnati but then the double has to come from the other side he does so well to force it to the to the other side of the pitch the double doesn't come love Janice Almada wide now whips it in for Yakumakis big Yorgos on the double tonight Wong has been fantastic well he's got two on the night this one takes a deflection on the way through. Unlucky, but it doesn't matter. He still puts it away. And how in the world does he get on the wrong side of Mosquera? Watch as this ball comes through. Look to Nietzsche once again. Being effective, Omada gets it on the boot. He drives it in and was... Love Janice. Hasetu out wide. Lennon operates there. Brooks Lennon curls this ball in and there's the goal! Yeah, Jorgos Yakamakis for a one nothing lead. And now numbering in wide areas. It's exactly what he does. Sometimes the best thing to do is to stand still. And it's what Lennon does. The Columbus players go away from him. And how about that for a ball? It's a magnificent cross from Lennon that finds the space. And Yakumakis, as he's running towards that, he knows he's going to end up in the back of the net. From start to finish, that was brilliant from Atlanta. They were prepared to be patient. And Lennon finds his space, puts the ball into the box. And Yakumakis, wonderful header into the ground. And that's something that Yakumakis was Starved up in the first game. One back at least before the half comes to an end. Jay Fortune. Almada. Able to play this in. Brooks Lennon gets a foot to it. There's Yakamakis. And the response by Atlanta is superb. Yorgos Yakamakis to make it a 3-1 to one game. That's what the doctor ordered. Well, Schulte, he wants offside. Give great credit, though, to Lennon. It's the first time, really, that he's been able to get forward for this Atlanta team. Yeah, and you can see it's a wonderful run from Lennon. Yakumakis is going to be in an onside position because he is behind the ball and is put into his path. The back of the net is found. Now it's 3-1.